I saw a real quick look at kilowatt, what it looks like. Uh, actually, they give you a, a simulated version of BAC right there. So you don't want to show people your settings. You don't have to show them your settings, but you can show them the app. Over here where it says e-bike, obviously that's my bike. It's not connected. So we're going to look at the uh, simulator over here. So that's the dash, obviously. Uh, Right now, it's in third, so it's uh, simulating that the bike is running. But we're going to go ahead and put it in neutral and stop all that. Now, as far as settings are concerned, the first portion is the controller part. And, uh, you know, all that's basic info. You can do a quick setup for the motor and throttle, you know, your original hall sensor uh, testing and tune and a quick throttle tune. But uh, you can definitely do more in the actual app part. We go to power. Uh, they got some presettings as far as what voltage system you're running. Uh, obviously, if it's none of those, you can go to custom and uh, set whatever size pack you're running. 20S, 22S, 30S, whatever you can change that. Uh, your power settings for your eco and your sport mode. Max power for both right there and max regen power. You can set that right there in that portion. Um, the next part is uh, the throttle section. So right there when you do your actual throttle tune and throttle calibration right there. Uh, you need that information for setting your dead band voltages and all that in BAC. Uh, your uh, torque ramp up as far as your throttle how fast your throttle response is uh, you know depending on what type of throttle you're using dominoes are pretty good you can set them pretty low they'll respond really quick uh, a lot of them Chinese ones are kind of slow so you might want to adjust for those uh, your braking torque ramp up same with the throttle uh, if you got a variable region, it's pretty much the same. You can set the response time on that. Um, different levels of e-brake, none at all. Your lever cutoff, lever region, variable region. Um, you have to do, a, if you got a variable uh, e-brake, you have to do a tune for that as well. So that's that part right there. Engine braking on or off selection right there. Um see what else we got here this is the drivetrain portion uh, where you'll have to set up your wheel diameter size and all that your phase amps your amount of fuel weakening you want to use uh, your temperature li limits and everything so you can have your controller throttle down you know whenever it gets to a certain temperature to cut power same thing with the motor you can set them to whatever you want uh, torque response tuning. They got presets for that. Uh, I accidentally hit the custom part on that. But um, if you go down here, uh, you can set your torque power curve. Meaning, uh, if you don't want full power to come in initially from a standstill, you can set different power levels at different speeds uh, by either percentage or actual speeds. So, say you want to set your throttle curve up to where as though you don't want to loop out if you give your bike max power from a standstill. So, you would set your output power to be limited to like, like let's say 30-40% from zero to five miles per hour then after you get past five miles per hour uh, you can change the next uh, they got different set points whole bunch of them as you can see and uh, you know you can have it so you don't get full power kicking until you're above 20 or 30 mile per hour because uh, if you got a bike like mine even at 20 30 miles per hour you give it full throttle it's going to loop out However, if you have uh, all these set points set up, 
that'll stop that'll stop all that. So you know, some people use that, some people don't. It's really good to be able to do, use it if you got it. Uh, as far as your console, this is where you do the selection, whether or not you're using the app, uh, set the kilowatt right there, or you might have the egg rider, or you might have a display UKC1, or any of those different displays, you have to set it in there. Uh, once again, you're sporting eco modes and turning it on and off. Uh, you reverse whether or not you actually have it. You can turn that on and off right there. Again, your eco and power modes right there. All right. Now, these are the gears. Uh, right now, it's set to gear one, two, and three. But you can actually make as many gears as you want up to nine. But you see there's no information in anything above three. Now, uh... As I told you, you can set 1, 2, and 3 to different power levels. And at the same time, you can still have the max speed the same. So no matter what wattage, uh, if that wattage is capable of that speed, uh, let's say gear 1 is 10,000, gear 2 20, and gear 3 is 30, they will all reach the same speed eventually, just won't get there as fast. But if you want to have gear 1, set to 10,000 watts and top speed is 30 miles an hour that's what you're going to get 10,000 watts max power and at 30 miles per hour the uh, controller will throttle back so you can set those to whatever you like like I said all the way up to nine gears but you know then nobody want all that but you can do it if you want it so uh, yeah kilowatt pretty cool now is the dyno portion in the back it's got a built-in electronic uh dyno where you can look at all of this at the end of your ride so if you are if you do have backdoor access and you're doing an actual motor tune you're going to need all this type of information right here um and yeah that you know just like if you were to put your bike on an actual dyno all that information, if you're a tuner, you know how to use that information and uh, do what you do with it. So, yeah, Kilowatt has a dyno portion. I think that's pretty cool. But, uh, anyway, yeah, just wanted to show y'all what Kilowatt look like. It's a free app. Anybody can download it if you have ASI and use it. And, uh, you know, that's just a third-party app, an alternative for GLE. GLE basically has a lot of the same things, but uh, GLE doesn't have the dyno, and to me it doesn't look as good, doesn't allow you to do as much.